Welcome to my channel, INTJ Island. Today, I'm going to talk about a possible classroom of the future. Education has been on my mind for decades. My brother-in-law, Rip, once asked me what I would do if I suddenly had an unlimited supply of money. I told him instantly that I would create a school that was run my way. I might have to buy an island or something to get the government out of the way, but when I was done, I would graduate students who were extremely well-educated and who would know how to think for themselves. He said, well, that is interesting. You didn't want something for yourself. I replied, you don't understand. That would be for myself, because it would be feeding the future in a way that will go on for centuries. INTJs are future-oriented, and I have given a lot of thought to education in the future. I have gone into that in my fiction as well. One of my ideas is to have artificially intelligent teachers. Just think of the possibilities. Take an INTJ student, and I submit that this type of teacher would be optimum. The teacher would start off by presenting an idea logically. The student would, of course, first grasp the idea and immediately have a number of new ideas come to mind as to how this new concept would be of use. The AI teacher would have a wealth of information at his metaphorical fingertips and would track with the INTJ as his mind quickly explored his ideas before the teacher pulled him back to the topic at hand so the course material could be presented. This presentation style would not just pepper the student with disconnected facts, but would lay down a foundation and a system of interconnected concepts so that a pattern could form. When this is done properly, things will be learned and retained, possibly for a lifetime. The ability to range around a topic and fully conceptualize its context is critical to an INTJ, and a strong AI teacher could do this perfectly. Just imagine how far you would have risen in school with such a teacher. You would move at your own pace, which no doubt would be a fast one, and there would be no limit to what you could learn. Take 12 years of your life and sit in a room with an AI teacher like that and couple it with virtual reality field trips and virtual reality test labs and what would be beyond your reach. There are many INTJs who would be at a postgraduate level in 12 years of such training. Why not? If you have a very high IQ and you are given the right tools, you can soar with the eagles. Rather than mucking around with people who are laughing at you, pushing you to be somebody you're not, and all the rest of it. It is a crime what happens to many brilliant young INTJs as they are looked down upon by their fellow students and even their teachers, or much worse, their parents. Since such a teacher could be duplicated at will, every student no matter what his personality type, could be set into his optimum learning environment. The extrovert could learn in a group, and the introvert could learn by himself. A school of the future would be able to identify the needs of each student, whatever his gifts or his limitations, and help him to reach his peak performance in life. A mechanically-minded student could learn to rebuild a virtual reality jet engine, or a racing car transmission. An artist could learn how to sketch, paint, or sculpt. And the musically gifted could learn massive amounts of theory, practice playing to master instruments, and might even learn to write concertos. This one-size-fits-all that we have today in school fits almost no one exactly. And while it attempts to move the children forward, it also holds a great many back. The process will take time, but they will work the AI teacher through a learning regime where massive amounts of data, information about teaching techniques, and trial and error with human supervision for a time to create, in the end, an amazing device that can truly inspire learning in all the various types of students in its care. Once you have a working model, you can then create a duplicate unit for each student. When you think about the amount of money that is dumped into schools today, you could easily pay for one AI unit per child. That one unit could take the child from kindergarten ignorance to an advanced PhD knowledge over the years and do it for the original purchase price. When you are mass producing these units, they will be almost free in the end. Not only that, but the devices could be upgraded across the entire set with one download. So the knowledge would always be up to date. 
Also, a network could be used to retain a reservoir of knowledge that can be searched by individual units for specialized training requirements. With the technology that is coming down the road right now, there will be no excuse for ever exposing a student to an incompetent teacher. All students will have the ultimate and equal opportunity for education, and if any student has the capacity to learn something, he will be given the chance to learn it. Where a student is strong, he will rise quickly to mastery of that field. Something else that comes to mind is the virtual reality group activity. Imagine you are in a group and all the other students are AI characters who seem real. There is no limit to the range of situations that a student could learn to cope with to prepare him for the future in the working world. From dealing with an obnoxious member of the group to having a group where everyone pulls together and moves forward smoothly. It could help students to acclimate to groups without creating emotional scars. A brilliant student can see what it is like to work with a group of intelligent students who can keep up with him. The potential for normalizing brilliance would be striking. The downside of virtual reality is that I fear one day it will equal actual reality in its believability and we may see humans disappear into it and never come out. If you can live a life that is happy and exciting and never deals you bad blows, why would you want to come out and face the real world? Once you tie in physical sensation, where what you see, hear, smell, touch, and taste are all indistinguishable from what you get from the real world, it could become a serious problem for some people. Whatever the potential problems and dangers of AI and virtual reality, I think that one day they will be a strong influence, if not the only influence in education. The potential is there to provide an education that is as close to perfect as I can imagine. What do you think that education will be like in the future? If you enjoyed the video, please click like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I'll see you next time.